in our first reading today, we continue with um, the first letter of Paul to Timothy. Okay? Uh, Timothy is a disciple of Paul. And Paul, of course, teaches uh, Timothy the, 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 the Christian way of life. Okay? And, uh, and we're all Timothys. Okay? We all need to grow in the spiritual life. And this is what Paul told Timothy. He told Timothy to avoid morbid craving for controversy and for disputes about words. Another translation for that is to that, avoid unhealthy interest in arguments. Okay? And we, we don't need to look far. We see that right now with all the issues that are happening, starting with COVID, starting with wearing masks, starting with social distancing, starting with, you know, uh, taking vaccines or not. Right now, whether it is right to have mandatory vaccines. And in September 22, they're going to implement the vaccine passport. All this, people are arguing. You see that in the news, social media, among your family and friends. There's arguments happening. And this is what Paul is telling to Timothy. He says, but as for you, man of God, we are men of God. As for you, man of God, shun all this. Avoid. Avoid all this. Okay? And uh, we, because we should not give in to the negative influences that is happening around us. We should also not give in to the harmful tendencies within us. Okay? Now, and we need, you know, because we need to always be healthy within ourselves and also in our relationship with other people, despite what's hap what's happening out there. And we need to always imitate Jesus. Okay? Jesus never engage in pointless and harmful arguments. His goal, what is his goal? His goal is always to reveal the merciful heart of the Father. Okay? Now, I'm not saying we should not look at the, the, what's happening right now. and We should not talk about it. We should. But we should not fall into an argument. And how do we do that? First, I'll give you three things. First is try to understand the position of the other person. Okay? Don't assume that the person should first understand you. First, try to understand where the position of that other person. Okay? The second is give that person the benefit of the doubt. Don't judge the motive that that person, that that person is insisting on his, on his, on his belief in order to harm you or to ha harm the society. No. That person must ha might have valid grounds. That's why he's insisting on his belief. And we need to respect that. Okay? The third thing is, it's okay to disagree. It's okay to disagree. Whenever you, uh, whenever you, you, you share your point, your goal is to just pass on the information. Your goal is not to control. Your goal is not to change. Because if that person doesn't change his point of view, you will be frustrated. Just share. Whether that person would change or not, it's up to him. Okay? So we need, we need, we need to not fall into this. Avoid all this. Avoid all this. And, uh, and that's why, you know, we should not let all these things rob us of our peace. We must always have that peace. 
And the, 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 the prayer of St. Francis is very powerful. The prayer of peace, right? He says there, Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me bring love. Where there is offense, let me bring pardon. Where there is discord, let me bring union. Where there is error, let me bring truth. Where there is doubt, let me bring faith. Where there is despair, let me bring hope. Where there is darkness, let me bring your light. Where there is sadness, let me bring joy. O oh, Master, let me not seek as much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we one receives, it is in self-forgetting that one finds, it is in pardoning that one is pardoned, it is in dying that one is raised to life. Okay? So let's have this. Let's have this attitude as we relate with others, as we go through and <laughs> with all these things that are happening right now. We must always have that peace. If you're not having that peace, there's something wrong. You have to bring it to prayer and ask the Lord, why? Are you not having that peace? Okay? Now, all the things that are happening right now, COVID, masks, vaccines, mandatory vaccine, vaccine passport, all this, all this should not distract us from our goal. What is our goal? He says here, but as for you, man of God, shun all this, pursue righteousness, Godliness, faith, love, endurance, gentleness, fight the good fight of faith, take hold of the eternal life.